Toronto audiences <laughs> are the best. Oh yeah? Are I'm the best, are the best. Congratulations on this epic series. Well, I want to start with you because you're in every scene of this show. And right. in every scene, you are managing two loyalties. And then in every scene, you are navigating two cultures. Yeah. Um, that must have been easy. <laughs> How are you doing? No. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it really it really put me to the test. I, I don't even know where to begin with that. I, I kind of just threw myself into the deep end and just hoped that everything went well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like I, you know, like I guess I, I was doing it the American accent for the character and then I'm, you know, juggling the Vietnamese language as well. And that's just as the actor. But then a lot of the time I was trying to play the duality of my emotional attachments to each person in the character and my and how I felt about certain situations as opposed to just playing like a broad sweep idea of what I felt was the good and the bad and all that sort of stuff. And so in trying to play this character, I felt like it was really important to humanize him and to try and really get deep into what his psycho psychology is and what his beliefs were and how he felt about his friends and his, you know, loves and his, you know, upbringing and, and the people that confronted him. Um, and if I tapped into that, I felt like that was the true, that was the true character. <laughs> you know, and then structurally, honestly, it's like when you get into the deeper into the, the series, you do see the, the captain unravel as yeah. but as is inevitable. So I think even though let's just say Hua is playing the captain in a certain way, structurally things are going to start coming apart. Yeah. Um I think that's also a, a real strength to the piece. I related to it very, very well because I I I think I felt the same way when I came here when I was 15 in 1975. I I, I felt like I lost everything. You know, we were of course lost the house and yeah. cars and we have to leave pets behind, that kind of thing. So a lot of loss and and being 15, uh, you know, self-confidence is is still developing. So I, I, you know, spent lots of many, many years just kind of, you know, lost and, and not not very happy and, and develop depression and um, watching my father, my parents, how they deal with it, with the loss and trying to regain, um, you know, uh, starting all over again. Mm -hmm. So I, I drew a lot from that as well. When I, I first read the book and then I read this character and I said, oh, it's very interesting. The first thing I have like connect with the character is like, he is someone who really enjoy the food and like enjoy life, <laughs> who is like me, you know, but also, I I can see him as someone uh, like uh, who really loves his mother, which I like. You know, me myself, I I really love my mother. She's like kind of like one of the most important person in my life. Uh, so I also can connect with that. You also were a blast to watch. Uh, Sophia um, at once is subverting people's expectations of her, especially in that era, and yet has a very clear idea about her identity um, and and how she wants to be perceived to the world and her refusal to be tokenized. So what was your sort of approach to this character? It must have been fun to to dig into that and all its layers. Sure, you know, and then for me, I was trying to make the journey, of uh, uh, Sophia's journey, as someone who is very, again, uh, very progressive, very liberal, very liberated woman. Yeah. But through her relationship with the captain and the love triangle that happens, I think she goes deeper into her Asian American identity mm -hmm. when she starts questioning things, like questioning herself of, of how much she's playing into uh, the tokenism herself. Yeah. Um, and that was really great to play because I think that this piece, which obviously focuses on the uh, Vietnamese community, you know, in Los Angeles and also in Vietnam, right. but mostly in Los Angeles through the, the captain's eyes, you know, Sophia Mori also represents the other um, sections of Asian Americans who have been here longer mm -hmm. and her also questioning how much have I been... Um, 
uh, socialized and how much have I been in almost institutionalized in my my own way to uphold even in my own thinking that I'm subverting the uh, the 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 system that I actually might also be holding it up yeah it it, it shows up in when in your lines where you're like I'm American there's there are many ways to read that in that insistence of of correct what the, the insistence right? that's right i think that th and i tried to push the insistence a little mm -hmm. like she doth protest a bit too much yeah <laughs> you know what i mean because yeah i do think during that time uh that was very very important i know it's yeah. still important for a lot of people now of course for me i i feel like we are moving into a place where the identity is not just of a wholly one monolith mm -hmm. american because that is also a very kind of patriarchal white perspective That's and right. now that we're stepping much or out of it it is to embrace our uh our all of our ethnicities Mm. that that is as important yeah. side by side with our Canadianness. How does it feel to be like two actors from Montreal getting to to be on this show and then to get to play two of the three blood yeah. brothers, right? You're not like you have scenes together. We do. Tell yeah. me about that. Yeah. Oh my God. It's crazy because I he was my reader for my audition, actually. He was my reader for my audition, yeah. actually. <laughs> and we we were very close friends before any of us got even this okay. the knowledge of this show happening. Mm -hmm. So um the fact that we you know it's unheard of. It's not normal that this happens. Um yeah. you would think like, oh, they got one person from Montreal, they probably won't look there again. You know, yeah. like it's but that's not how that works. Yeah. <laughs> and I joined late too. I joined like right, yeah. two months into production. Yeah. And somehow they found the other blood brother in Montreal yeah. again. I, that's, yeah. that's just, just to say there's so many talent. There's talent talents people everywhere in Montreal. And, and Montreal yeah. is like a huge. It's like a hub of it. It's a huge uh, city of artists. And it's yeah. just, um, hopefully, you know, people will start noticing yes, that. Please. Well, we in Toronto are super excited to be a part of this because there's a special premiere at TIFF yes. this week. Yes. So uh, wow. you are coming uh, with Don McKellar. We, we know Don McKellar very well here at TIFF. Um, Sandra, have you given Hua any tips about what to expect when, you know, the, the show Canadian comes yeah. Yeah, and, and comes to Toronto and the film and the TIFF audience in particular? No, I'm sorry. Toronto audiences <laughs> are the best. Oh, yeah? Are I'm the best. Are the best. Because I would say the Toronto audiences have a very sophisticated uh, view and uh, a taste for just filmmaking. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. Yeah, the t TIFF is, TIF really is like an yeah. international mm -hmm. festival. Yes, I mean, is. yeah, so we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna love it. It's a warm audience, and it's also, you know, there are a lot of Canadians on yeah. here. So also myself, also being Canadian, but Fred Nguyen and mm -hmm. uh, Zui. What's Zui's last name? Uh, Zui Nguyen. Oh, and, Zui yeah, yeah, yeah. Nguyen too. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, they're both. So you know, there's. At least three yeah. uh, Canadian yeah. cast members, and of course, there's actually a lot of Canadians yeah. on this production. Yeah, you know, it's it, yes. interesting enough because it's like, uh, you know, it's it's a uh, it's an American production, but I would say the majority of all the perspectives, meaning the people who obviously not yet uh, the novelist. Mm. Um, who is you know beauty's american yeah. uh but don who's the co-showrunner with director park and all the three directors are all international directors and all most of the cast are all international yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it's a very international take um on in in an american production mm. but toronto oh, so is gonna give Represent. it love like the video then hit the button or better yet drop us a comment then check out our latest videos here and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.